zombies, the bloodthirsty undead. Baseball bats, machetes, hammers, weapons of choice to bring down the walking dead. What makes a zombie go boom? Using scientifically accurate zombie analogs, we put your favorite weapons, objects, and mods to the test, empowering you with the skills and knowledge you need to survive. Learn the best ways to bash on dead skulls and stay alive in any situation. You've studied the books, you've watched the movies, but you've never seen anything like this. Forget everything you know about fighting zombies. Zombie go boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. Charles Fultz. And we're here with Victoria Fox from the Avalon Universe Star Trek films. And I'm in it. I play a starship captain. Charles is in it. He plays a Klingon warrior. You can find some of the films in the description below. And we're also making more films so make sure you check that out and there's a crowdfunding campaign yes going we have on. a crowdfunding campaign running right now we've got just about a week left so uh hurry and help us out so that we can make this next one the biggest baddest coolest film we've done yet yeah and this one's the one where charles and i are gonna fight victoria will be fighting too it's gonna be really cool so check out the link to the crowdfunder in the description below as well and in honor of these films we're gonna be testing out the phaser and the batleth Phaser goes first, so let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Set it to stun or set it to kill? That is the question. Introducing the Phaser, or Phase Modulated Particle Beam Weapon, firing a rapid nadion pulse right into the heart of your enemies in order to vaporize them as if they never even existed. But can it vaporize a zombie? Well, now we're gonna have to get another boom tower to do the bat lift test. And now it's time for the bat lift! If you ask a Klingon what his favorite weapon is, he will undoubtedly say bat lift, which in Klingon means sword of honor. The bat lift we have is a tool steel replica with many sharp edges, points, and super interesting geometry. Its profile screams, how the hell do you use this? And is this going to hurt me too? Only one way to find out. Ugh, thank God for time travel. Charles, what is your plan of attack? Well, I think I'm gonna do a 45 degree angle strike using this blade right here, and I'm gonna put my hands in these holes right here. This is the weirdest weapon I've ever used, so I don't even know what to expect. Let's do it. Holy moly. So. I got blood on me. Oh my god, that's amazing. Look at this. Blade went down, <laughs> destroyed the frontal bone, went into the orbit, and uh, parietal bone is, is a big hole right there. Uh, and then it also cracked all the way around and back. I can probably pull another piece of bone if I want to. Yep. That's uh, it's a one hit kill. It's uh, uh, could get the overkill seal of destruction. Charles? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's just a really awkward weapon to use. It's, it's awkward, but it is a one hit kill. How much uh, force did you put into it? I mean, I put more energy into the recovery because it's such a heavy, awkward thing that I didn't want to like, you know, do something weird. And I don't, I can't see this part of it whenever I strike because of my blind spots. So I was just trying to put more energy into the recovery. So I really just, you know, hopped into it with my body weight, really. And uh, that's all I did. Look how smooth that cut is. Like the inside it's of a balloon. Like the inside of a balloon. I was about to say that. <laughs> all right. Also, upon further inspection, not only did it go down the frontal bone, and through the orbit, but it also kept going and cracked all the way past the temporal bone. Well, that worked out pretty well. Next, I'm gonna strike vertically to the top of the head. Let's do it. Ah! 
Wow, that actually looks like brain matter that's kind of rotted. Wow, that's freaking disgusting. How long has that been in there? <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> Crap. He's infected! <laughs> Gotta kill me now. <laughs> this is gross. Ublek is gross. Okay. Well, that did a lot of damage. Yeah. I wanted to stop. I didn't go all the way through because I didn't want to hit myself with this freaking crazy weapon. No, but even still, you definitely went past the cheekbone. Look. Yeah, that was... Th Look at that. Yeah. So... Yeah. Oh, yeah, the secondary, this piece went in like Oh, that. my God, you're right. <laughs> Holy crap, it, it got look, all it of this. cut the jaw. Did it really? Yeah, it looks like it did. Yeah, it cut the jaw. Dang. Wow, that's there's... fun. I guess all that's left is uh, decapitation. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> wow. That was like butter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like, I put way too much force into that. Oh my god. I know that you're saying that that weapon is weird, and it totally is, and I've never even thought that the Batlith would be a real good weapon in a realistic situation, but I'm incredibly surprised. I almost want to give it the overkill seal of destruction. What do you think? Yeah, man. I mean, for real, this thing's crazy. And that one you use this blade right here, right? Yeah, I use this section That's right amazing. here. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Man, that was crazy. So surprised. Yep. Overkill, Seal of Destruction for the Batleth. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Yep. Man. Secondary blade. Like butter. That's crazy. Like butter. Oh my god. No, we didn't even sharpen <laughs> this thing. Nope. Alright guys, as you can see, the phaser definitely works because it's a freaking phaser. And the Batleth actually got the Overkill Seal of Destruction, which is ridiculous because Charles and I have always been really skeptical about the geometry of a batlith and today we were proven dead wrong. Please check out the links below to help support the next Star Trek fan film or watch the ones that have been made by Victoria and Josh in the past and with another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Foltz. I'm Victoria Fox. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Please support Zombie Go Boom by subscribing to this channel and sharing and liking this video.